Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be playing Look Infection Attack on Expert Difficulty, yes, or actually I guess it's called Hard. And the objective here is to have multiple bases that are connected to the center of the map. So we'll have to see how it goes. Just due to the dimensions of, or rather the tree placements of the center here, we're going to have to make the base a little bit longer than what I've done in my previous strategies. So perhaps something a bit like this. I am your servant. Uh, that probably mess up the trees for Gung. So I'm going to put the wall a little lower, and now we can start creating our hall. So, hmm, I guess we could do top left. <laughs> Not a huge fan of this placement, but it's a little bit cramped space-wise. We'll just have to work with it, my friend. We will have access to multiple trees. So we have two trees here, and I think it'd actually be pretty safe to harvest at these trees as well, because the trees might block monsters from getting through. Is my aid so at the start of the game, make sure you gather up ten wood, which we will then be using to build a house. The house can be used to train, um, train harvesters, so that's why it's really important to build as soon as possible. Yes, then you also need to build a granary to boost your food supply. The house will only give you a total of one food, so you have to build the granary pretty much immediately afterwards. And yeah, getting that first gatherer is incredibly important, because that'll double your wood income, and eventually we won't need to gather wood with our main builder at all. Zombies spawn at the 55 minute mark, so it's important to have one tower up by then. For the granary, we can put that in... This looks about right. Let me put it in the bottom left. The granary shouldn't draw too much aggro since it can't attack. So, as long as it just isn't outside of the walls, it should be more or less fine. And with that, we can now start training more gatherers. The house can only train three gatherers before it implodes. So, once this house has been used to the limit, we're going to destroy it and start creating a new one. Ready to work. Yes, my friend. You can also make multiple houses, which can be used in the later game to create several advanced harvesters at the same time. If you're going for a wood-based strategy, that can be pretty important. For the most part, since I only focus on one tree, it's not really worth making more than perhaps one additional house. Yes, my friend. Job's done. Yes, my friend. And yeah, so now that we have maxed out our regular gatherer supply, we're going to start saving up 500 wood so that we can get an advanced hall. The advanced hall will give us access to the big house, and the big house can be used to create more peasants. So we can go from 5 to 10, which of course will once again double our wood income. And the big house also can create an unlimited amount of units, so you could make 10 advanced gatherers and it wouldn't be a problem at all. And the concept of the advanced gatherer relative to the regular gatherer is that they use more supply and they cost gold instead of wood, but you can make unlimited. It says limit zero, really that means limit unlimited. Is my aid required? We could start creating a granary now if we wanted to be a bit proactive, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Right away. The extra granary supply will of course be used immediately in additional gatherers. Okay, that's the 56 minute mark, which means we do need to start getting a tower pretty soon. So, yeah, we can either start making a tower right now, which means it will finish right before the enemies will spawn. We do have four bases surrounding us, which means it might not be required, but I think I'm going to go ahead and build a tower anyway. So let's go one down and one more. So this looks like a pretty good spot. I think I will place the tower right here. As you wish. As far as income goes, this will set me back a bit. We could have started to make an advanced hall right now, but that's fine. Yeah, it looks like Gung is a little bit ahead of me in terms of income, because he's a tower and the advanced hall, which means he's about 70 wood ahead. Maybe a bit more. Is my aid required? Every 10 minutes in this game, a boss will spawn from the center of the map, so it's very important that you have your boss walls up before the boss starts yes, attacking. My friend. Okay, the advanced hall is now in progress. 
And once that is done, we're immediately going to destroy our regular house, place an advanced house, and then use an ability to finish the hall instantly. That ability can only be used every few minutes, so I recommend saving it for the big house because it has an extremely high build time. The watchtowers take about a minute, but I think the big house is like three, so it's just most effective to use it on the big house. We now create a pig farm, which will give us an additional five food supply. And now that we're capped, we can start to create the walls in the middle of the map. And it seems like I misremembered the time. Perhaps zombies spawn at the 53 minute mark, which means we could have been a little bit more defensive, or er, greedy for our income. Minor mistake there. Oh no, no. <laughs> I was right. The zombies did spawn at the 55 minute mark, they just didn't reach me. You can switch the minimap to colored mode, which will make it a little bit simpler to see the enemies. That'll make all allies teal and all enemies red. And yeah, all enemies in this game are 2x2, two two, so if you have a 1x1 one one gap, enemies cannot get through. Buck, is that the best you can right do? In. And Asilux is here, is the creator of this game. So we are actually playing this map with the original creator. This version isn't one that he specifically made, I don't think, because the later versions were just updated by other users over time. Hmm. Okay, research center is going to be need to be completed pretty soon here. Upgrade complete. I think I might just place it right here. Kind of takes a tower slot, but don't have that much space to work with. Actually, this As looks good. Wish. That'll give us the ability to walk around. It's not bad. So three minutes till the first boss. If we want to be extremely defensive, we should have one additional, or perhaps two additional towers up in time. And then we also will need another granary. Pretty soon. Uh, we do have spare food supply for the moment. At this point, we can also start placing gold mines to give us two gold every minute. You get gold at the somewhere in the realm of the 7 to 13 second mark. So if you are going for gold mines, make sure you have them placed before then. And at our wall here... Oh, actually, this requires gold. I was thinking it's just wood, so can't do anything just yet. Of course. And that'll get us 8 gold, and we can cancel these structures to get money back. Okay, that's clever. Instead of... So they did an enjoined base, and he just made a little bonus base near the bottom to squeeze a tower in. There is some advantage to that, which is that if your wall does fall here, you have a fallback base. Ultimately, I think that's a little bit inferior to having the tower in your main base, because we don't have... Uh, well, towers are expensive and take a long time to build, and that's the main reason why. Okay, first advanced gatherer is coming up. We can start that wall upgrade, and then we can start creating a new tower. Towers gain range as you upgrade them, as you so right now they're 700, which should be enough to attack most of this, but eventually I think they get 50 range per upgrade, so that will reach 1,000 in a while. Okay, three towers should be sufficient, but we will upgrade them to the superior versions, such as the Guard Tower and the Harpoon Tower. Yeah, a single tower upgrade doubles its DPS, because it gives us plus 10, and it's just plus 10 every level, so... Next up's Harpoon, which is the equivalent of three watchtowers. Does use an extra food supply though, so keep that in mind if you're running low. And our first advanced gather is just about to complete. My life for the whole. Go ahead and start the second one. One minute till the boss. In terms of wood income, we probably won't have quite enough to get three right harpoon cannons, Research but we should pretty complete. easily be able to get uh, a harpoon cannon and two guard towers. Job's done. Our allies town is under siege. Once this granary is done, I'm going to start creating the next advanced gatherer. And it's also time to upgrade these two walls in the middle, because they are the most likely to get attacked. Upgrading the wall from level 1 to level 2 will give it an additional... some additional HP, we'll find out in a moment. Yeah, so that'll give it a little over double HP. To be precise, it looks like 750. And it also gives it an additional 5 armor, so it's a solid upgrade for the price, especially when you compare it 
to the uh, wall HP upgrade, which is 2 gold and 250, and that only increases the wall's health by a little bit. So the first boss is up, and it looks like he is attacking green. Unfortunately, blue did not seal off the bottom, so the boss is able to run out at will. But we should still get some synergy here. Yeah, like we have two bases attacking instead of one. That's not bad. Okay. I can go help repair. And you can actually build your walls inside of this zone, but of course then you run the risk of the boss could just literally spawn within your walls, so I would not advise that. Okay, first boss is down. Pretty easy when you have multiple bases working together. Seems like one of the bases on the outside of the map has fallen. As you wish. I'm to get a pig farm, and where's my, okay, here there he is, pig farm and a barn. That'll boost our food supply by 10 once they both complete. And I guess it's time to get multi-shot on my harpoon cannons. Multi-shot does not boost the tower's DPS, but it does allow it to attack three targets at once, so if you're beginning to get overwhelmed, that's quite important. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, did he lose his base? I thought he was doing just fine. I guess I should have paid closer attention. Yeah, completing the walls will give you the ability to upgrade, so it is useful to complete them. Squeeze in another gold mine here before the income cycle. And we'll pay close attention to see when the timer is. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay. Or no, the 7 second mark, yeah. I am your servant. Yeah, this wall, I guess we'll just have to build it on the outside of the base. Let's move the gatherer so that I can walk by. Building on the outside really shouldn't be that risky. Okay, great. So he sealed off the bottom, which will prevent the boss from getting out. Cancel the wall between our bases. If your builder does get attacked, he has a decent amount of HP regen, so it's not a huge deal. Done. As you wish. Yes. Our allies town yeah, now would be a good time to start using extra houses to get multiple advanced gatherers at once. Our town is under siege. Our 850, probably one more siege. wall HP upgrade. Job done. Of course. Have to go in through the top right away. Now is a good time to actually complete one of these gold mines and then upgrade it into a superior mine. Well, uh, regular mines can be upgraded to a gold mine for 350 wood, which will give it five income instead of two. So it is actually slightly less cost effective because you're getting you're paying 550 for five gold. Actually, wait, no. That's exactly as cost-effective. Well, more or less. I guess it's like a 50 wood premium. As you wish. Our allies' town is under siege. Job done. Time to start one more tower. I can't build right that. away. Upgrade complete. But first, the hall or the house. Of course. Research complete. Our allies' town is under siege. Yeah, we have plenty of time to prepare for the next boss. There's no danger here. I am your servant. One trick that I advise is double layering your gatherers in the tree. It's a little bit tricky, but if you land it, you can get twice as many gatherers, which is quite helpful. Alternatively, you just go for a two tree base, and that's nice as well. Take a look at everyone's wall HP. So I have two upgrades. They have one. Yeah. One to two is about what you want. You can even go for three if you're being really defensive. 
and it looks like I need to... This tower is low priority, so I'm going to go ahead and start to complete this wall. Otherwise, they could sneak in through the left. Of course. Our town is under siege. 1200 wood. So we have maxed out our wood supply, or not our wood supply, our food supply. And we can't get any more food until we get the next level of building, which means we want to complete some gold mines and upgrade them <clears throat> so that we can get more food, more towers, and so on. Okay, so let me get back in the base and start completing a mine. Yeah, the pathing on my builder is really bad at checking for existing unit obstructions, so it's a bit of a pain. So this gold mine will definitely be upgraded, and I guess we can upgrade the top as well. Probably going to miss the cycle, so I'm just going to place a few little spam gold mines here for some extra income quickly. And then we'll cancel like all of these. Okay, so now we have enough, and we can start getting the new technology center. One big advantage to the new technology center is that your builder is becomes mechanical, which means your other units can repair him. Of course. Yeah, once the new tech center is done, we'll immediately start the power generator, which will give us 50 food each. They do take a minute to build, so if you're in a pinch, you need to plan a little bit ahead. Uh, I should have placed one more level 1 tower first. Now I'll have to immediately go to Electro. Actually, I guess that's not bad. It's it's fine either way. So I think I'll put up a charger right here. This charger can repair our interior walls, and it will also be useful for repairing our towers in a little bit. So we no longer have access to the house, so if you did want to use that strategy, you needed to have it prepared by now. I'm all geared up. Okay, let's upgrade that wall. It seems to be getting hit a lot. And we'll do one more generic wall HP upgrade as well, which will get us to three upgrades which is more than enough. The charger is a AoE auto repair structure. Well, not AoE. It's just a ranged auto repair structure. So we can set it to auto repair and then anything that's damaged, it'll just heal itself. Looks like our power plants can't even click them, but it looks like they're almost done. Oh, there we go. Just finished. So we now have 150 food supply. It is possible to boost the food supply above this point, but it is quite difficult. Or, well, not difficult, it's just time consuming. You have to build the SU, which will boost your food supply from 150 to 300, but to build the SU, you have to have a couple more upgrades, and then it also takes like three minutes to build. Nice. So 1,800 range is actually enough to repair my whole base. Let's go ahead and start that next tower. And we'll also convert this into a deeper gold mine, which will give us significantly more gold. Could cancel the Electro Tower to get more gold, but I don't think there's a need for that. Start training some more gatherers. I think this house has one or two slots remaining. Helpers can also just build in general, so I'm going to use this helper to create the wall over here. Town is under sea. And this will also provide some good evidence on if the zombies can get through and attack. It does not seem like they can, so we can start just putting a couple of gatherers out here if we want to. Probably not the best idea, because ranged units will prioritize those guys. So. Alright, one more deeper gold mine is under construction. Our goal here is to get about 280 gold so that we can get access to the laser technology. He's saying zombies are strong, I guess because he has a few zombies attacking him. 
my life for the Lord. Yeah. What do you want? So we can move the helper back into the base. Oh, and he's... Oh, that's Fog of War, maybe. Hard to believe we'd have a fog problem, but it does seem to be the case. Let me send my repairman over here. Probably best not to have the technician go in between, but boss doesn't seem to mind. Yeah, this boss is a piece of cake. And yeah, as expected, the range will be enough to attack anything in there with a few more tower upgrades. Go ahead and start the fusion technology upgrade now. That one will give us access to laser towers, which will be very important. Okay, let me see my repairman back to my base. Now this gatherer, where, where am I going to fit him in? I guess, yeah, we'll, we'll do the possibly very stupid outside of the base tree. Oh no, I can definitely fit like two more in the bottom. Okay. There we go. Mega Charger is done, once again, set that to auto repair. And once my fusion technology research is complete, I'm going to... Wait a minute, did I do? Just noticing these deeper gold mines have different textures for some reason. Oh, okay. They have different textures because they're different mines. This is, <clears throat> this is the one gold per few seconds one, I guess. One gold every five seconds. Yeah. That's not what I had meant to build, but it's not bad. It's pretty comparable, actually. What would that be? So, two gold per ten times six. So, twelve gold per minute instead of fifteen. Yeah, since I'm usually not in a point where two gold is going to make or break something, I prefer the slight efficiency, but this is still fine. The Wisp that we can train gives us 20 wood every 5 seconds, so if you're going to stockpile a lot of wood, that is excellent to build. Yeah, my house is now useless, so I'm going to get rid of that. 250 gold is the target, so one more gold mine can be upgraded. And then we should have enough to get that in one or two income cycles. Rebuilder, we definitely want to start that now. Rebuilder, on top of just having the repair, the single target repair, it has a health aura, which I don't know how much it gives, but yeah, mechanical units will gradually gain health over time. Mechanical units or structures. I guess we could test it out by having our tower attack another tower, like one time. The laser upgrade costs a thousand wood, so we'll want to save up for that in a moment. Ten health. Okay, so we don't need to actually test that. Ten health per second. Two ten. Okay, one minute to go. And the reason why the tower HP upgrade is important is the tower will be creating damages itself once it attacks enemy units. So if you don't have the tower HP upgrade, you could end up losing the tower, which is a significant amount of time that you lose. Yeah, and this tower will be done in a moment. It's really solid damage. Not sure what Wally ping there. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought my harvester on the outside died, but then I just remembered I moved him inside. Okay. Looks like this is timing out nicely with... Three deeper gold mines. There should be just enough gold to get the laser upgrade started. Yeah, <laughs> just enough by one. And once that upgrade's done, it usually means you have defenses in the bag. So that will take 30 seconds, I'd say. We have one tower that's all set, so should be good. I think one tower did just get destroyed here, so hopefully Green has his defenses covered. Research complete. 
And yeah, lasers are done. So we'll get one more tower HP, and then we could up... Yeah, we can upgrade it to barriers. I don't think that's super essential. But if I did one, I might as well do both. The technician also has a ranged repair. Okay, it looks like the right side is falling, which means I need to seal my base up. So I'm going to put a wall right here to keep out any incoming units. Let's see, this one... And this is how it was earlier. We should now have enough income that we can convert the gold mine into a bank. The bank will allow us to invest gold and then get gold every 10 seconds in return. gold. Yeah, we can make a wisp now. Let's do that next. Send it to this tree. If I can click it. It's a really hard tree to click. Uh, maybe that'll work better. Nope. Uh, come on. <laughs> it's so precise. Uh, mm, Alright. I guess I'll just have to do that manually in a little bit. Time for another laser tower. Yeah. This time we'll just create a new one. And let's see, one more wall HP, I guess, for good measure. That'll get our walls to a little bit over 3,000. Oh, lag spike. Yeah, I will put. Getting a fusion in their base is a little bit of an investment. Job's done. One of my, I think one of my helpers died. They do die pretty easily, so it's not too much of a shock. <clears throat> okay, let me do a build it on a tower right here, which will be a fusion. Oop, accidentally just wasted repair it, but that's okay. So let me send these two helpers to the far right. And then gradually upgrade this to a fusion tower. Ah, uh, this tower is probably going down. I'm in no risk, so I don't mind getting set back by an irrelevant amount. I have to get out of here, though. Where are my repairmen going to commit suicide? <laughs> they could just seal right here if they wanted to. Okay, the Wisp should be alive. There he is. Can he reach the tree? Not likely. But what we can do is send him in through the bottom. And yeah. So <clears throat> we'll do this. Go up around the top. Okay, so I can move these two gatherers out and move the wisp in. You do actually have to be a little bit careful because uh, the wisp can almost get one shot. If you want, actually, I forgot. The helpers get access to the houses. So, in regards to what I said earlier, if you did want to get uh, multiple houses, you could use helpers for that. 384 gold. I should probably start investing into the bank instead of stockpiling it. But first I will buy 1,000 wood and then we uh, start doing that. The next boss is the beetles. The beetles will... They have a few auras that can be a little problematic, but nothing that a few fusion towers can't handle. Three complete life is required. 
Okay. Those should finish just about in time for the new wave, and we can also buy 1,000 more wood. Okay, beetle spawned a little early. We'll s start repairing. Prioritize the armor aura. After that, the other beetles will die really quickly. Which means we can start getting another level of interest. That'll boost our interest up to 3%. Right now, we have nothing invested, so this is just investment for the future. And yeah, there's no cost at all for switching between. So if you invest 100 gold into 1,000 wood, and you decide you'd rather go back, it's the exact same rate. I really would like to help Orange out with a fusion tower, but it takes a solid 60 seconds to build. When I build it off cooldown, it is. Could put it over here, I guess. This this should do, actually. All right, I'll put the tower here, then immediately convert it into a fusion tower. And I'll also put up a wall, maybe? Looks like he got it. Okay, fusion's beginning, so we just need to protect this for a little bit. And he is a fusion tower, or... Yeah, well, no, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was fusion, but it was not. All systems go. Our town is under siege. Okay, I can only tank a few hits with the Technician, so I'm going to back it up. And yeah, Fusion's up now, so it should take out these guys pretty quickly. One more Fusion will be started momentarily. Let's get another Wisp. Oh, Green died. <laughs> Hopefully he has a Resurrection left. Otherwise he's gone for good. get a level of tower damage. Tower damage is a really pricey upgrade. Our allies town is under siege. Our town is under siege. Yeah, green's gone. Well, <laughs> he can still use his income. So, it's not terrible. Oh, okay. Yeah, since he's a new technology center, he can still get helpers. Build it is almost off cooldown. And yeah, now we can start adding money to the bank. The bank was nerfed in version 1.8, I think from gold every 10 seconds to every 20? Let me check that, if there's a patch note. Yeah, nothing listed. Alright, well, it does pay you at some interval. Okay, next tower will be up in a moment. They want me to upgrade the wall. Yeah, let's keep an eye on So I get one gold every five seconds for the deeper gold mine. I should get about six gold every some interval from the bank. Okay, 
Okay, well, let's convert 2,000 wood into gold. Now we can start upgrading my final tower at the moment into a fusion. I will squeeze a bit, a few more towers in there eventually. Upgrade complete. Our allies' town is under siege. Actually, let's do a wisp instead. Max that out. Solid uh, income from the gun that he sent over. Uh, yeah, we can put this charger right here. Pretty central. Bring my repair bots over. New technology center should really be building helpers all the time. Uh, yeah, we can just deposit them here. Yes, yeah, so with the help of three helpers, I tell you it's building at like double the rate. Doesn't seem like triple to me. Okay, charger is done. We can go ahead and upgrade that. And now we can send all of my builders back to the left. The final boss spawns at the 13 minute mark, so we still have plenty of time to prepare. Upgrade complete. Our town is under siege. Tower HP, I think we have enough. So let's go for tower damage. <laughs> it seems that my wisp got stuck. Oh, <laughs> some hydras are in here. I'm all geared up. Let's roll out. Our allies town is under siege. Right, let me send my builder over and all of my helpers, and then we can get some fusion towers done. Yeah, there is a risk that the game will crash, so just keep in mind that even if we make it to the final boss, we unfortunately might not get to watch our victory. I'm all geared up. Okay. Have those head over there. Well, with the extra wood from Gung, I might as well just go all in on the helpers to speed up construction. <laughs> I think I might have placed that on the wrong... Oh well. Right. Just commit to the inefficiency for now. Tower damage. There's five levels of tower damage, so your fusions will max out at 125, which is in total a 25% damage boost, which isn't bad. Pretty pricey, though. Our allies' town is under siege. All systems go. Yeah, multiple rebuilder auras don't stack, so keep that in mind. Or at least I doubt that they would, since uh, yeah, generally two auras, if they have a title, will not work together. But the independent repairs will stack just fine. Okay, we can do a little bit more money in the bank. Since our gold costs really aren't that high, it's not necessary. Why do we still only have three helpers? Are they just dying when they walk over? Or are they trapped? Several of these harvesters are doing nothing. Let me move them. Research complete. Yes, my lord. Upgrade complete. And it's running. Our allies' town is under siege. <laughs> yeah. The big house, it, it is insane if you don't use your build it. Multiple minutes on a single structure just always feels absurd. Our allies' town is under siege. Upgrade complete. 
Okay, next boss is up. It is the Infected Minion. He does a fair amount of damage, but when you have a few fusions, nothing that they can't handle. Based on our current design, we can either move these walls down or just make another tower section where Gung is currently. And that's probably the way to go. Why aren't these guys gathering? Oh, there we go. I guess it's because there was two t categories of units. Another level of tower damage, and I will be the last one. Where's my builder? Did he die? Not impossible. Now there he is. Complete. Yeah, if I kill the advanced gatherers, I can free up a ton of supply. <laughs> yeah, and the SU is also insanely expensive. 5,000 wood. No, not the best use of money. Now, since I've sealed this, I might as well just keep filling it in. Yeah, for good measure, I will get the final level of wall HP. Once you have that, you're not really at any risk of the boss killing the walls. And with that, I will have to start killing gatherers pretty soon here. The <laughs> helper was one shot. Hopefully he had more than one. I'm gonna start making a charger. Oh, <laughs> he got it in the exact spot. Research complete. Let's roll out. Our allied town is under siege. More lumber is required. Let's convert some gold into wood. Job's done. What you got? Build more farms. All right, time to kill our first gatherer. That is on my team. I did kill some of Green's gatherers earlier. The engine's running. Upgrade complete. What you got? I'm all geared up. Build more I guess I didn't kill enough. Upgrade complete. Okay, hey, bo final boss is about three minutes away. Okay, let me let me just kill several. And yeah, when you kill them, make sure you target the advanced gatherers because they get take up more food supply for the same harvesting rate. Okay, time to kill a few more. And convert a bit more. Okay, I think the final boss is about three minutes away. Hmm. What you got? I can 
Just thinking if anything else should be done. Could put a charger in this little gap. Probably be more trouble than it's worth, though. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Our ally's town is under siege. Kill a few more gatherers. Move them around. There we go. That should maximize the build rate. Upgrade complete. And yeah, the fusion towers have a thousand range, so it's trivial for all of these towers to attack at once. As for the final one, we could put them in my base. Yeah, I guess I'll send some repair bots back. I'm all geared up. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. What you got? Our allies. Yeah, we don't want any of the walls to die. I'm on top of it. Okay, so with our remaining money, we can either build a few more towers. Pretty tricky though. Or we just I fill in. All right, we'll fill in these spots. Uh, no, I'll just fill in the one. Upgrade complete. Our allies' town is under siege. Okay. Now we'll get some troop health, which will boost the HP of our primary builder, just to reduce the likelihood of him dying. The engine's running. Upgrade complete. Yep. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. We have uh, two minutes till a moment of truth. A rebuilder. Hmm. Could use a rebuilder up here. Research complete. Our town is under siege. Yeah, just replace the gold mine. Yeah, one, two, and then I have one, two. Yeah, he can make a third. These guys can all be set to auto repair as well. All systems go. Our allies' town is under siege. The battle armor was trained from the SU by Pink. Pretty solid unit. 200 damage with a fast attack speed and 10,000 health. Which, yeah, without the support of towers is still not that useful, but if in conjunction with your towers it can work as a mobile wall, especially with 75% damage reduction, which is quite a bit better than the walls. Our allies town is under siege. Maybe he forgot that the final boss is next. <laughs> Yeah, because they had fusion towers up by the beetles, they died really quickly. Research complete. Okay, final boss is just about to spawn. We'll see if the game crashes. But either way, we'll know in our heart that we would have won the game. <laughs> yeah, but I would greatly prefer if it doesn't crash. <laughs> Look at these battle armors. Can't even fit through. I think that must be like a 3x3 three three unit. So we'd have to destroy a lot to get those in there. Our allies' town is under siege. Fuck, is that the best you can do? Oh, Green leaves the game. Hopefully he had no wall. He had several walls. Oh, no. Our allies' town is under siege. We have a few seconds to get walls up. Uh, quite the last second twist here. 
Okay, final boss is up. And... Yeah, did not have time to prepare for that. But, it looks like the boss is aggroing an irrelevant unit, so we should be fine. Or no, uh, by unit, I meant wall. Let me destroy this one. Let in the big battle armors. <laughs> My repair bots are running around so that they can fight the boss as well. Yeah, we're going to absolutely roast the boss. You have to kill the boss twice within 11 minutes, and we've already killed him almost once in 20 or 30 seconds. Yeah, this, it almost feels like with these uh, battle armors here, like we're bullying the boss. Like he's stuck in a corner, getting beat up and attacked by 50 towers. <sighs> Alright, life one down. Oh, is uh, piercing effective against the boss in, as opposed to the fusions? Oh, big lag spike here for some reason. Don't know why. Um, it's just fine before. <laughs> See if I can get it focused back on the action. Um, yeah. Who would cause this? Our town is under sea. Our mm, okay. under town is Almost under able sea. to click on the mini map. And seems like the game is crashing. Well, that's a shame. But we did absolutely destroy the boss in 30 seconds. We would have been just fine. We'll see if the game unlags. Oh, oh, something happened here. Did we just... What happened? I can't tell. <laughs> did did we win? I hear punching. Oh, no, no, the boss is on the right now. Okay. Um, he's at half HP. Towers are still attacking. Strange that audio seemingly is working just fine. Yeah, 0.6 FPS. Okay, boss is at a quarter life. This will be the world's oh, slowest, uh, <laughs> slowest, lowest frame rate kill of this boss. I'll Chat messages can't even attack. make it through, but the audio played. I think once the boss I'll dies, the lag the should go away, so we'll get a victory screen. I guess I can try typing in almost. Yeah, so we can hear the bruisers, but we can't hear the towers. And... The boss is almost dead. His health just went down again. I think it's closer to 0.1 FPS. Oh, there we go! We got it! <laughs> Victory! Alright. So, pretty unsatisfying ending there with the FPS drops. Um, it seems like this game could still use some optimizations for Reforged. But yeah, there we go. After the boss died and whatever he was doing to cause lag wrapped up, the game got back up to 30-ish FPS. And my units are all now gathering in hyperspeed. Um, so yeah, pretty fun game. Infection Attack, if you haven't seen my previous video, I'm a big fan of it. And this time we played through it on hard instead of, I think we did normal last time. Yeah. If you guys like my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in playing some games with me, I do live streams every Saturday. So make sure you have your notifications set to all to be notified for exactly when that begins. And I'll see you guys next time.